Hello and welcome, this is Lino Tadros and in this video we are going to talk about re-ranking in Azure AI Factory with Promflow. It's an extremely important subject of course, uh, re-ranking is a semantic search tool that improves search quality with a semantic based re-ranking system, which can con contextualize the meaning of a user's query beyond keyword relevance. That's very important. Um, you would see probably the change happening is that you will be making a regular call for RAG. Let's say, for instance, you have multiple uh, PDFs or Word documents or Excel spreadsheets. And instead of sending all these documents to the LLM, you do RAG, but means we're going to get only the relevant chunks. Let's say we get five or six different chunks. Whenever it goes to the LLM, some of these chunks, even though uh, it was retrieved from the vector store itself, might not be very relevant to the question itself, the way it was asked. So the ranker comes after the retrieval happens. That means it will be able to take a look at whatever the chunks that came back from the vector store and it will try to give them a score for ranking relevant to the question itself. So I think this is a very important part that you need to take a look at as well. So let's go ahead and, uh, and, and do it. All right, here we are back into the Azure AI Foundry. And if you remember in one of the videos before, I think it was video number four, we created a prompt flow that they actually did some rag with Azure AI search, if you remember that. So we went ahead and I believe if I went to index in here, I'll show you under indexes. We created an index and the index actually is pointing to um, a document that was vectorized and that document was the Florida driver license, which is about 104 pages of instructions to take the, uh, the certification or the exam for the Florida driving license. Uh, we've done that already, so when I go back to prompt flow, you will notice I have my, my history, the input, of course, the, the question that you are trying to ask, uh, the lookup is the most important part for us in here, so if I go to lookup, we are actually where we're pointing to the uh, ML index coming in from the Azure AI search, we use hybrid vector and keyword, and when we ran this whole thing using a chat, of course, I started a compute session and we ran the whole thing. It was able uh, to answer a lot of good questions coming from these 104 pages and it worked great. The question now is what happens at the top K? That means I want more than two. Maybe I want like five or six different, let's say five for right now. I'm going to save this. And um, there is a possibility some of the base, of course, on the documents that you're working with. Uh, these five, the system found a match or close enough match semantic meaning inside of the vector store. But we will need a little bit more oomph. <laughs> we need a little bit more power to be able to go through whatever the lookup came up with from the vector store and try to re-rank them, give them a different score based on the relevancy of the specific question itself to even make it better and just drop the ones that don't make sense as far as how the question was asked as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and started the compute session, which took about maybe between one to three minutes to start the compute session. But once it's done, you'll notice that more tools is enabled again. I'm going to click on that. And you'll notice as of the recording of this video, the last one at the bottom re-rank is in preview. Maybe by the time um, you see this video, it already be in GA, in general availability. But right now, re-rank is available in preview mode. So I'm going to click on that and it will create a brand new re-rank. I'm going to call it, let's say, Lino re rank you can call it whatever you want of course and i'm going to say add this and now we got a floating <laughs> linear rank we will not we will need to set it up in such a way that it will be coming right after the lookup remember always the re-rank happens taking the data that came out of a lookup from a vector store it will take for instance like the five different things that it came back from the lookup and then it will do a re-ranking on them to give them better scores based on the relevancy of the question itself and of course, the generate prompt context in here will, will pick up that from the rank itself. So let's go ahead and fix all of these things to bring them right in between these two in here. So if I go to the Lino re-rank, also, it's a good idea. It doesn't really make a big difference, but it's a good idea to keep it right underneath the, uh, the lookup. And the way to do that, you see that arrow up, we'll click once, twice, three times. Am I close? Yep. See, now it makes a little bit more sense when you take a look at the uh, the graphs and everything in the nodes that the lookup and the Lino re-rank right underneath each other will be great. 
All right, first one, where is the query, the query going to come from? Remember, that query, it means the question relevant to your input documents. So that, of course, would be coming in from my inputs.chat input. The same thing like all the way to the top in there as well. Now we get to the point about the ranker parameters. This is a very important piece. The ranker parameter could be uh, one of three things. You can only see two of them in here. The third one, you will have to create a serverless, which we will do later as well. But right now, we have um, a BM25 and a skill score fusion. The BM25 is an open source ranking algorithm to measure the relevance of documents to a given query. It's uh, definitely widely used. You're more than welcome to use that. If you'd like to use a scaled score fusion, it's very similar. Uh, the scaled score fusion calculates a scaled relevance score instead. To be honest with you, the most used one in the industry right now is not even showing up in here. But as I said, you can actually turn it on. The reason why it's not, because you'll have to actually have a coherent re-rank. So you'll have to deploy a serverless um, uh, system that has the Cohere re-rank model inside of it as well, which will take a couple of minutes to do. Not a problem. We will do that later on. But the Cohere re-rank is, uh, is the market's leading re-ranking model currently used for semantic search and for RAG as well. Let's go ahead and click on the BM25. We'll do that and we'll say save this. And then when we come back in here, we'll say the result groups. What is the results group mean? This is the list of document chunks to re-rank. Normally, this is an output from a lookup, right? And we already have a lookup. So if I go back in here and open this, I'm going to see the lookup.output. Whatever came, comes back from the lookup, from the vector store, that will be my result set that I need to take a look into. And out of the five, I would like to get only the top three relevant with re-ranking, the highest three rank. I would like to get three of them and pass it on to my generate prompt context in here. All right, let me save all that. So where are we as far as the graph? Well, we're almost there. I just need to fix the generate prompt so that the uh, Lino re-rank comes right underneath it in here. So we'll go to the generate prompt context. And inside of here, instead of saying get that from the lookup output directly, I'm going to say no, get that from the Lino re-rank output like that. And now I think my graph will be excellent. All right, there you go. That's exactly how I wanted to see it to make sure everything is working correctly. All right, I'm ready to give it a shot. All right, let's go ahead and click on chat. And remember, the compute session is running. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, what is the minimum age of driving in Florida? Well, that's a very specific one. I want something that will return a lot of different uh, uh, possibility from the vector store as well, so I can see the accuracy. So I was gonna, I'm going to go ahead and say something like, uh, uh, what is the best way to drive safely in Florida? Alrighty, well, that's a very vague question. <laughs> Let me go ahead and see how will that work. We'll click on that and uh, we'll give it a second here to come back with the answer. And indeed, it took about 2,000 tokens. It took 9.4 seconds, a long time. But if you take a look, it actually came up with all of that stuff. So I want to find out, for instance, how did it do all that stuff? This is a good place to do some tracing, find out exactly how our re ranker worked. Alrighty, so if I click on the view outputs all the way at the top there, and we will see to drive safely in Florida, blah, blah, blah. That's great. But I want to actually click on trace all the way at the top in here. That is my flow. Took nine and a half seconds. And all of these are great, but I'm interested in the linear re-rank. Look, it only took 20 milliseconds. If I click on that, I want to find out how it did it. So if I uh, take a look at all the different results, that is the first one, second one, and third one, fourth one, and fifth one. So that is five different things that came back, and I'm going to send you back three that have the output. So... The five that came back from the lookup are the input, okay? And then the output will be three. So if I close these, I'm sure it will be only three. And these are the highest ranked three of them. So if I take a look at the first one, for instance, you will see what's going on in here. Let me make this a little bigger so you can see it better. All righty, so there is, it's available on page number seven in this 104 pages that I'm saying, uh, I'm showing in here. Additional fields, the content, all that stuff is great. The interesting part for me in here is the last line in here it says prompt flow vector DB re rank or score. The re rank or score here could be very different than the search score. So the lookup could have actually given it a score, but the re ranker could, could give it a completely different score in here as well. So the score in here was actually about 2.7%, but the re ranker thought it was 3.04% for doing that. And if you can take a look at all of them. So as a matter of fact, if I went by whatever the five different chunks that were given to me by the lookup, 
might not be as accurate as the three that came back from the re-ranker because it only gave me the most relevant three to my question based on the re-ranker as well. Does that make sense? Hopefully that uh, gives you a pretty good idea how to use the re-ranker and, uh, and to use that to get the best results possible for your rag operation. Thank you. Please, if you liked that uh, video, like it and subscribe and uh, looking forward to seeing you again in another video uh, from the uh, training boss. Thank you.